Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is demonstrate how we can easily program a part that requires multiple fixtures or multiple setups to manufacture. Now, for example, with this part, we might start with the part chucked up in a vise, and then machine the pocket, put the thread in there, perform the engraving, then pull it out of the vise, put it on a tooling plate, clamp it down, and then profile the outside. All right. Now, what's important to know is that within 1CNC, you don't have to have a separate part file for each fixture or for each setup. You can have all of your different fixture manufacturing, all your different setup manufacturing, all located within one part file. So let me demonstrate this. In fact, I'm going to make this a little bit more complicated. Let's say we're going to start this project with the part on a Fidal. It's going to be on a vise. It's going to be on a Fidal machine tool. We're going to machine the pocket. We're going to put the thread in and then we're going to engrave. Now when we're done, we're going to pull the part off of the Fidal, walk it over to a bridge port, stick it on a tooling plate on the bridge port, clamp it down, and then profile the outside. Okay? Sounds complicated, but it's very simple to do. Let me demonstrate. Right now, we already have one toolpath group accomplished. You can see here's all of our different machining operations. I'm not too concerned what's in there right now, but I want you to think of this toolpath group now as being a fixture. All right. In fact, I'm going to take my cursor and double click on this. See where it says toolpath group? I'm going to call this Fidal and I'm going to call this, instead of fixture, why don't we just call it setup one. Okay? So now I've changed the name of this group to Fidal setup number one. Now at the moment we're still using a brother post processor and for our demonstration we want to start on a Fidal machine tool. So again I'm going to double click and up here where it says post I'm going to just left click here. We'll find the Fidal, left hand mouse click and click OK. So now here's our first setup. It says Fidal setup number one and we're using a Fidal post processor. Okay, now what about the bridge port? How do we do that? Well, what we want to do is we want to create a brand new group. So to do that, I'm going to right hand mouse click and select new group. I'm going to double click that. We're going to call this bridge port. And we'll call this setup two. I want to make sure I select a bridge port post processor up here. I'll just grab that one for right now and we'll click OK. So here's a brand new group. Now there's no machining operations in here right now, but here's a brand new group called Bridgeport Setup Number 2. Now if I want to go back to the Fidal group, all I have to do is just right hand mouse click and select Activate Group. When that group is activated, only that group will be post processed, only that group will be simulated, previewed, and so on. So it's easy to select in between different groups, it's easy to activate them. So I'm going to activate this Bridgeport group again just by right clicking and select Activate Group. And now let's profile this. So we'll head over here, we'll go to Stock. I'm going to do this a little bit quick because we've gone over profiling before in the past. Hit F3 there. I think I'm just going to use any tool. We'll just move through this as quick as we can. I'm going to say that looks good. So there's the profiling on the Bridgeport. All right. So if I were to create a CNC program right now, it would only be created for the Bridgeport and it would only be for the profiling. If I simulate or preview, only these operations within this toolpath group are going to be simulated or previewed. All right, so let's create a program for the bridge port. I'm going to right hand mouse click and select post group. There's our bridge port post processor. All this looks good. I'll hit post and I think I'll just call this setup. Uh, yeah, setup two is fine. We'll call it setup two. Click save. All right, so here's the program for the bridge port. All right, so this is saved on your hard disk and you can send that out to the bridge port. Now if we want to create a program for the Fidel, we right hand mouse click on the group, select activate group. Now you can right click and select post group. The Fidel post is already selected. We're going to select post and we're going to call this program setup one. We'll click save on that. One CNC is now creating a CNC program using the Fidel and it's doing all the first work there or all the work for the first setup. So you can think of these different toolpath groups as setups and what's nice is these are all stored within one part file. Now let me show you something else that's kind of neat. At the top here within this first setup you see we have the chamfering and the corner rounding. And I'm going to say we don't need to corner round so I'm going to right click on that and hit delete. Okay and we'll verify that. Now let's say I want this chamfer operation to happen after the profile. It's easy to move commands from one group to another, just highlight the command, hold down your left mouse button, drag it down where you want, and now we have that chamfer operation within this Bridgeport group. 
okay so now within the Bridgeport group we're profiling and chamfering of course we'd have to repost process or recreate our CNC code but you can see how easy it is to set up your different your different toolpath groups here you can have as many groups as you'd like alright so as many fixtures and setups as you want this also applies to when uh, you have a part and you want to machine one side and then flip it over on the other side you can use the same technique as well also notice there is a little minus sign next to this this just allows you to collapse the group okay and that's just going to give you more real estate when working inside the NC manager thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video